What is up everybody and welcome back to Reese's Pieces. I am as always Reese and today we're doing a character design challenge. Today's, do today's goal is to create a little critter character for every D&D class. For a while I've wanted to have some D&D themed stickers and what better way to do so than to draw some cute ass animals and some terrible puns. We've got 13 whole designs so we're just gonna jump straight into it. Kicking things off with the class I had the easiest time naming and designing, the Barbarian. <laughs> Bears have been pretty long time associated with the, the Barbarian class, being included in some of their class tiers and overall being a pretty good representation of the core Barbarian spirit. Plus, it's the easiest pun in the world, and sometimes the best path is the path of least resistance. Went with a classic brown bear, pretty exclusively because they're my favorites, and slapped them angry eyebrows on him to make sure that he's entered rage before combat. For our bard, god, it's, it's awful, I'm sorry. <laughs> I teetered on the edge between goat and ram for a while. Ram ended up winning for those curly horns and all of that wool. Initially when I was planning this guy, I imagined a much cuter, sweeter little guy, but as soon as I started sketching, he became a little... Not to bully him, but he became a little bit obnoxious and I really leaned into it because I loved it immediately. He's a little bit of a bastard, but I feel that's on brand for the class. His vibe may have been impacted by my recent binge of The Witcher and my love of a certain bard, but I tried not to lean too heavily onto it. He's definitely... he's... he's got character. The Clerico Cat ended up so cute. Easily one of my favorite designs. This set wouldn't be whole without at least one cat in it, and the cleric offered up a solid pun opportunity for it. Of course, our kitty gets to be a light cleric. They deserve the right to choose between healing and lighting the room ablaze. Who better to wield the power of Firebolt than a cat? Absolutely nobody. The kangarooid is probably my favorite pun. It looks like a nightmare typed out, but it makes me giggle every time. While kangaroos are maybe a little bit more muscular than we consider the default druid, I think it's a good representation of how tanky these fucks can be in combat, especially if the DM isn't prepared. Uh, having a motherfucker that can just turn into a T-Rex can kind of be a little overpowered in certain situations. And uh, kangaroos can be a little overpowered in any situation. They scare me, and so do druids. Uh, gave him a little staff and a wild-shaped bonsai because I'm a sucker for integrated plants and druid designs. You gotta do little things for yourself. Overall, he's probably one of my favorite designs. Our Fi Tiger! A spicy little guy for a spicy class. Fighter's a role I've never given a spin since I tend to be a barbarian or nothing kind of guy, but heaven knows the party fighters saved my bacon too many times to count for me not to consider them a great class. All them stripes were... A, a bit of a pain, to be completely honest, but an unavoidable hurdle for the sake of consistent puns across the board. Little bit of a Simba vibe, little bit of a Kung Fu Panda vibe, all around a cutie. Very much loved how this one turned out. Monk Skunk doesn't have any portmanteaus that don't sound ridiculous. I encourage you to try, quite frankly, but it was an easy choice as far as critters. For most of these guys, I give them pretty humanistic bodies, but for whatever reason, Monk Skunk was the only one that felt uncomfortable doing so. Maybe it's because he's got half a titty out, but I kept second guessing if maybe I restart the whole sketch with this guy. I'm glad I stuck with it through till the end because I love the result, but boy howdy. Boy howdy, this guy made me want to tap out a couple times. Don't know why. He's a cutie though. Love his little scruff. Love his little sash. Love his little spirit. The Pandolin was another easy pun, and I think it's a nice little nod to the gentle giant tanks Pandolins tend to be versus the Barbarian. Plus, it's another excuse to draw a bear, and I will always take an excuse to draw a bear. Had to beef our guy up with some shiny armor and still give him the space for them big old chubby cheeks, uh, and finish it off with a chunky ass broadsword. This guy's ready to go out and protect his friends. I just want to give him a hug. He kind of actually, you know what, looking at him a second time around, he reminds me of the uh, the greater dog from Undertale too. Good good vibes. Good good excellent shit. The ranger stumped me for a bit, I'm going to be honest. I just had him down in the notes as Ranger Rabbit for a while, and it wasn't till I was finishing up the sketch that I realized Range Hair was a much better pun. He still has that classic fluffy bunny face that kind of based him off of like suburban cul-de-sac rabbits just because 
they got such cute little mouths. I had to. Uh, and I can't resist drawing them chubby little cheeks, but we fitted him out with a bow and arrow He's all set to go out of all the critters. I feel like he's honestly the best suited for his class Imagine this guy just like leaping at you over the terrain slinging arrows be horrifying. You'd be dead in milliseconds Kicking off our accidental string of birds the Krogue easy pun easy fit for the class I feel like Kenku rogues have become more and more popular over the past few years and the appeal is one I definitely get. The fantasy equivalent of giving toddler knives is one that I've always enjoyed. Gave our little Krogue two knives because he deserves them. He's a special little lad. Maybe he's just a de-evolved Kenku, but I absolutely love this little guy. Next in the flock is our Swanserer. No offense to sorcerers, but you can't tell me they don't have big swan energy. Not to mention, the only thing worse than a swan that could cast Arcane Bolt would be a goose that could. Uh, so, you know, consider yourselves lucky. I drew this guy in attack position because there's no better way to portray a swan. Uh, he's just, you know, fun, simple, a little evil. All the things you expect from your classic sorcerer. Speaking of a little evil, we're wrapping up our birds with the warlock. I nearly went with octopus, but as I started pulling up references, my brain decided warlock cock. Warlock Peacock. I'm sure there's a better portmanteau than that, but I'm the artist here. I make the names. I draw the Warlock Cock. I gave him your classic Eldritch Observer Fair, eyes aplenty. I'm not going to justify his name. I think it's good and funny. I enjoyed typing it out in the title name. I will be telling people that is what it is called for the rest of forever. <laughs> is it a bad business move? Maybe. Does it spark joy? Yes. And that's what counts. Plus, warlocks have massive peacock energy. You can't tell me you have ever met a single person who regularly plays warlocks and tell me that they don't at least a little bit resemble a peacock. Everything that you've seen in this video has been absolutely pointless up until this moment. We have reached my absolute favorite of the entire set. My favorite, my baby, all hail the wizard lizard. I don't have anything to say. What, what else can I add to this little guy? It's him. He's the wizard. He's got the little hat, the little scroll. He's ready to go. He's ready to learn. He's ready to hopefully not die. I, oh, honestly, I just, there isn't anything else that you could do for a wizard and it's a chance to draw a leopard gecko. Have you ever tried drawing a leopard gecko? I strongly encourage, if you haven't, regardless of your artistic experience, go and draw a leopard gecko. It'll improve your day. And if you want, put a little wizard hat on him. It's just, it's just good. And last but certainly not least, the newest addition to 5e, our Artificer. As soon as I came up with the pun, I just knew I had to do a little goldfish on wheels, a little goldfish in a mech, of course. I gave him little arms so that he can help with combat, but he doesn't need to, he's just here to help. He's just your friendly little neighborhood Artificer rolling around. I really, the top is sealed. He can't fall out. Don't say that he's gonna fall out. He's fine in there. He built it himself. It's very safe. He's a little aquatic Mars rover and I love him. That's all of our little guys. Thank you for sticking through for all of them if you're still here. Uh, fastest little social media plugs, Insta, Twitter, and Etsy. I am all Reese Art Pieces. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and liked our little class critters. And as always, have a great day, eat some great food, and make some great art. Bye-bye!